Okay, Let's see how long this lasts. Um, I'm going to try to do a video tutorial here of my new and improved uh, switching system for the Run 8 train simulator. And as you can see, this is a, a, a view of my uh, TV here. I'm just trying to figure out if uh, it's like a little light there. I didn't know if I had the, the light on or not. Anyways, who cares? Um, it is dark which is cool because what makes this system really cool is that you don't have to go figuring out uh, what cars like I'm under a light right now here in Bakersfield yard right on the middle of the yard between tracks uh, 409 and 414 now 409 414 just happens to be on page two of my switch list sheet and this is the detail sheet I just released uh, Bakersfield today at the top you'll see uh, a bunch of numbers that say 1 to 120. Uh, that represents the car numbers. In the top right hand corner you'll see um, basically what any car can go in Bakersfield. You're either pulling it for the SJVR westbound or you're pulling it for the SJVR at the current junction or you're pulling it for BNSF or you're pulling it for UP. Now in this case if you look at my paperwork here and this should be in high definition pretty good you see this little Tetris effect I'm in the middle of uh, what I did you, you'll notice both of them 412 and 14 uh, were listed as UP inbounds so what I did is basically combine them because they're basically the same thing and work off the same there's just a little bit there I put an arrow over here and this is this is how you do it basically you, you have the printout and then I uh, basically go in uh, great what do we got where do you want this train I don't know where do I want it where are you you're not even at Hinkley yet okay anyways hold on a second I'll just say crew change hopefully it gets the message said I was filming this but anyways I thought everything was lined up so but anyways, follow the signals. Um, so, you can see this arrow here that basically uh, 413 was moved over to 412. So now 413... Would you stop asking me questions? Aye. Trying to film a tutorial, stand by. Arr. It was nice and dead, so I thought, okay, I'll film a tutorial. But anyways, that's why I like to be toned, people. Then I can answer the tone and pause it or whatever. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll see these squares here, what I've written, and I call it like a Tetris. Copy, thank you. Um, as you can see, I have an attitude when I'm dispatching. I just basically say, you know, it's all given. Signals. Moving. Okay, good. Um, you'll, see, you'll notice that they're squared off. See, PL, UL, those are the different car types. And you'll notice down there, there's PL and UL. The first and third line. And uh, what that basically means is pull SJVR West, pull BNSF. Hey you, hey me, okay. Um, so you pull, so basically what you're doing is you're pulling cars that go to SJVR West or you're pulling cars that go to uh, BNSF. Now because I'm pulling this whole string, this was at the front end, so it would actually appear up here above 412 because I put 413, 412, everything is at the one end and to try to explain this in a little bit more depth here without losing my mind you can see where where things are basically squared off all the HEs notice HE and FE are together if you see HE, HE blends into FE the reason why HE and FE blend together is because FE HE and TL all go to SJVR West. 
so you don't have to cut those cars. You can just keep them all together. TE and FE is another spot. TE is another spot. Now I've crossed some out, and the reason why I've crossed them is I'm in the middle of switching. So I start, I start basically at the tail end or or the the far end. And you can see TL, CL, HL has all been crossed off. If you look up here, TL, CL, HL, TL goes into four. I wrote down four ten. HL, HL, and uh, making this sound more complicated because interruptions. GL and then HL are all on different tracks, 410, 409, 414. And as you will see down here, if I widen this out a little bit, 414 is the BNSF outbound. And it's listed on the right as Bill, so there's the HL cars. You look up here, TL is now into a build, and so is the other. So I'm basically at this point right here. I'm working my way through a cut of cars. And what you're seeing on the screen here is me getting set up uh, basi basically to go in and I have a bunch of hoppers that are up next. So the hoppers are up next and the hopper loads of course go into 414. So here I am. I just want to make sure I am who I say I am. Yep. So that's cool. Got to make sure I say who I say I am because with all the interruptions and who knows what else. And there's a tone. Why there's a tone I don't know because everything else is okay but let's find out. This is how you, you basically got to dispatch and do the yard at the same time. Request permission to enter UP track at BNFs. You have a signal. <laughs> I tell these people this. You have a signal. I know some people have rules that you have to call. I'm the only dispatcher, so go ahead. Leave me alone. Aye. Permission to enter. You have a signal. That gives you permission. <laughs> but anyways. So, let's try this again. I'm trying to hop onto this car. Boy, this tutorial is going to be horrible. I should have done this without, without me being in, in multiplayer, but... So, sorry if it's long-winded and everything, but... So, I'll get over here, put it in reverse, let go of my brakes, and we're coming into 414. So, what do we got? We got three hoppers. There we go, we're starting to move, not too fast. I take the three hoppers, I cross them off. You'll notice down here, open-ended. That's because we keep ending, or we keep uh, adding more hoppers. Those three hoppers are now gonna go down here. As you can see, by the way, I have a nice little mess in here. I'm gonna put that list back down because now I'm concentrating on not going uh, too far here. So that's what I mean by the Tetris effect. I'm in a dedicated, all, all my work is right here. You can see the two, the, uh, the two lines. You got the tankers here, which are the tank loads that go into 410. You got the grain loads, which are going into 409 uh, for Kern Junction. 414 is way back here, but the key is I don't need those other tracks so I can use the lead for now. Why shove when you don't have to, right? F12 will get off of here. Hit the brakes. Let go of the emergency brake or whatever the heck that's called, the uh, parking brakes. And you will notice I haven't hit anything in this train because I know I have what I said I had, and that is four hoppers. Why? Because the fifth one, sure enough, 
is a soybean hopper, which is a different uh, beast. I call them uh, grain hoppers or GH instead of, uh, or uh, GL, I should say, for grain loaded. Sorry if this sounds a little rushed or whatever. I'm not going to bother doing massive editing here. This is the frustrations I get sometimes, though. It's actually a very quiet night. But now I'm trying to do three things at once. But that's okay. You get the idea. Close. Open coupler. Hopefully I did that right. Am I in the right spot? Yeah, I look like I'm fur enough, further enough down. Very nice. Let's see if I can ride this baby back. Come on, grab it. Grab it! You don't want to grab. Okay. Thing's so picky. But it's wonderful. There we go. So I'm on my hopper. See how simple that is? And I screwed up. <laughs> Anyways. It's simple when you don't screw up, but as you can see, there's a soybean hopper and a soybean hopper, which makes no sense at all. So... Let me try that again. Because that's a regular hopper. I was supposed to cut it at the soybean, not that one. So yeah, I make mistakes. I screw up, blah, blah, blah. And this is getting longer than I wanted it because now I'm coming up to 12 minutes and YouTube only wants 15 and you don't want to hear me for more than 15 minutes. Let me check dispatch. Guy's not even at Hinkley yet. Everything else is going very smoothly because there's not many major meets. I got uh, one, two, three, only five trains going. One's a switcher, so. But that's how simple it is and I, I hope you know, people will give this a try if they really want to switch. I put a, I put a word tutorial out, but I thought maybe the video would actually uh, make it a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna run. I'll cheat. Whatever. And every yard is like this. Uh, every yard list, some have even more uh, detailed instructions. I'm just waiting to like couple here. Good. Now we'll get the right cut. But notice how quick I figured out what the hell was going on before it got uh, it got too screwed up. Come on, baby, go. Yeah, I got two minutes left. All right. I know it sounds stressful and all, but I actually have lots of fun doing this. Come on. Boy, the old days we just run around like go-karts. You can't do that anymore. And it boarded. Nobody's calling right now. Very quiet, that's nice. I like it quiet sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind dispatching. I actually love dispatching, but I'm almost out of battery too. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna drop off that car and then there'll be hoppers after that. If you look at the sheet here and I got one more minute to explain while I'm headed out here. You're basically, um, you're basically following the line, every cut. So that one car that I'm on right now, uh, the GL, which is a grain loaded, that's going to go into that, that uh, track up here. Because it's all going to SJVR. It's all going to there. And there's hopper loads already in there. They have the hopper loads they need, but for this particular cut I assign certain cars. So I know what's going on. But anyways, I'm going to stop there. Let it go. And uh, let me get this here. Go back in the engine for a minute. Ah. Of course, I'm right handed and I gotta do control F11. Look at all these cars, huh? Jeez. Go, it's okay, the gate should go. Anyways, I'll let it ding ding for a minute, but as you can see, this is for, real quick as a dispatch display, but that's pretty much it, so hope that's good. Take care.